Elementary OS is considered as one of the most beautiful Linux distributions, and rightly so. With the upcoming Elementary OS 6 release based on Ubuntu 20.04, you expect it to be more soothing on the eyes apart from performance and feature improvements, right? This is Ankush from its Foss. Here I'm going to show you an early look on how Elementary OS 6 is shaping up before its final release end of this year, hopefully. Do note that this is an early access daily build which you can get access to if you sponsor them on GitHub. You can find the link down in the description with $10 per month or more subscription. So potentially a lot of things can change and this should not be considered as a review, but just a sneak peek of what you can expect with elementary OS 6. To kick things off, the notification area and the notification center has seen some improvements. Notifications look cleaner and can be grouped together. It also supports some multi-touch gestures that I haven't tried yet. You can tweak the type of notifications for some system apps and also disable them if needed. Next, it will be interesting to see a pre-installed GNOME web app also known as Epiphany in Elementary OS as a system flatback package. That is, it will be installed for all users. It does not support the dark theme yet, but they are working on it with Upstream, and I hope that works well. Visually, Elementary OS team is focusing heavily on improving the dark mode experience to blend in with every pre-installed app at the very least. As of now, there's no overhaul for the icon designs, but you can expect it to happen before the release. Current icon pack looks good enough while retaining the original look and feel of elementary OS, but feels a bit outdated, don't you think? In this case, I have enabled the dark mode and it already feels fantastic with subtle visual enhancements to the window designs and transparency. Under the hood, Elementary OS 6 features a completely new CSS-based system style sheet. You can check out Elementary's official blog posts to learn more about it in detail. It may not look completely different, but a lot of detailed work is in progress to make the dark mode experience on Elementary OS 6 stand out than the rest of Linux distributions. I'm excited about it. Not to forget, you also get to schedule the dark mode if that is what you need to be done. The options to tweak the appearance, wallpaper, accent color, window animation, transparency should come in handy. But a new feature addition of dyslexia friendly text under the appearance customization menu aims to improve the accessibility of elementary OS 6 for users who often struggle to clearly read or process the correct spelling on the screen. In addition to those improvements, you get the option to customize the dock size and add hot corners if you want. You get all the usual options to tweak in the settings along with an improved screen locking feature or screen shield so it does not automatically lock your screen while you're watching a movie. It's an improvement over elementary OS 5. Personally, I just need everything with a proper dark mode and dashing through elementary OS 6 is a joy and it feels finely tuned even if it's still in development. I know that this isn't an official list of changes and I look forward to what they do next, but elementary OS 6 is shaping up to be an exciting release. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.